Now here's our piece we just cut. It does have tabs on the bottom, which are okay. And you can see it fits inside the door, and because of that quarter inch on each side, because we cut the half inch off, it'll swing freely, but there's no way that a crayfish is gonna weasel his way out of a quarter inch on the sides. This is another reason why you want your box to be pretty good and square with rigid edges is because you don't want them sagging in and catching your door when it's moving. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come down and along these bottoms, I'm gonna take this first one off, leave this, take all these off, leave one, take them all off. I'm gonna cut all but all these tabs except maybe three or four throughout the whole bottom and I'm gonna use them to attach it to the bottom of this. So I'm gonna cut these off real quick here and then I'll show you, I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll show you how we're gonna attach this. All right, as you can see here, I came in about four or five, cut one, there's one, there's one, and there's one. I only left four, and I might not even use them all because we're going to attach it so with a, like a piece of the wire that came with it so that it actually swivels when it's in here. So now bear with me because this is going to be a little difficult to show, and I'm trying to, my camera is not really cooperating with me at all on this. If I sit it up here, maybe I'll do it this way. We're just going to slide it out a little bit past the table. I'm trying to get it so that you can get a good view of this because I've watched plenty of uh, how to videos online and know just how frustrating they can be. Let me bring the camera over here. All right. I'll work with that. Let me straighten up my door a little bit. You want this one to be pretty good and straight and flat because this one's going to be the one that moves and you don't want to catch it on things. Now, see here's our issue with this door though is since we cut it already, see how much, uh, oh, camera's too low, see how much more, here's the top of our box and here's this. Now, on the other one that's fine because it's going to be at an angle, but this one needs to swivel and be able to drop out. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this one down a little bit and I forgot all about that until just now. So. Let me get that measurement from my other trap. So this door is going to be cut down to four and a half inches flush on the top with tabs on the bottom. So well, we already have a tab. So four and a half inches is going to be two squares down, which is what I thought it was. So we're taking these top two squares off. That's going to leave us with the four and a half inch square, a couple tabs on the bottom. If you don't have the tabs on the bottom, because you might have messed up or something or cut them off by accident or uh, skip through the video or something it's no big deal really or if they broke off because they do seem to break for some reason sometimes N don't worry about it it's not a big deal um, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna attach this door regardless if you do or don't have the tabs the tabs are just kinda nice because when the door if the hook isn't holding the door up the tabs kinda tighten when it falls down and doesn't let the door fall flush so that the crayfish can just walk out uh, which I had showed in my video, but what we're going to actually do is something, a little modification I'm going to make to my other trap too. I'm going to figure out probably even just maybe a piece of wire run in there like a clothesline so that the door can't fall down if the hook would come undone, hopefully. Um, I haven't figured, I haven't completely figured out how I'm doing it yet. Might even put some kind of a quick clip in there or something, like a, maybe one of these. I haven't figured it out yet, but for now, I think this will work. I mean, it's crayfish. It's not like they're, you know, smart enough how to unopen the door. All right, so we cut that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here to this corner. Let me zoom in. Find one of my tabs here, right there. What we want to do is we want to set this down in like that. And you see how that sits and it doesn't go the entire way down. It sits up like a little bit there. That's because these pieces are bent. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually just take that tab and bend it up. Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. See the tab? We're going to take that tab and just bend it up. End over. And you know what? About three tabs will be more than enough. So I'm going to snip this one off here because we don't really need that. Be sure to have a trash can to throw all your scraps in. You don't want to step on any of this. Um, I occasionally let my dog in here, so I definitely don't want to step on any of them. All right, because of them tabs, you can see it stays up. It'll still flip down, 
but it will not go flat. Now what you want to do though is you do want to bend it a little bit so that the tabs don't completely restrict it from falling the whole way down because you want it to come down about you want about an inch to an inch and a half gap up here at the top which this is actually pretty good. Now remember that little bit of wire I told you to save that came with it or if you have some of your own wire oops, there it fell. What we're going to do is we're going to take this and I'm going to show you how we're going to make these hinges. We're going to zoom right in on this edge. Now I'm just going to take this wire up through, bend a little circle, just like that, and just twist. Like I said, you could use a uh, zip tie, would work. Plastic would eventually break though. But if you serve as your traps, or if you don't use them a lot, then just snip these pieces here. Or if you would happen to have uh, any kind of little loop like that would work. That just keeps it from falling off like that. And you know what? I think this one, because the door seems to be staying up awful high. I don't know why. It just seems to be awful steep. I think I'm going to take these tabs off once I put them loops on the edges here. I think I'm going to take them tabs off. That way the door can fall down flush. But I'm going to put a clip in there or something to keep it from falling flush. And if for some reason it would flip open like this and get caught up or something with the clip on it, you still have the other side to open it out of. And if you don't even, here's another thing you can do. You could also just cut this to five inches and literally, because that's only a half inch off, and you can just cut this to five inches and block in this entire end. Just put these little circles on here and then put some kind of clip system right here, like one of these. This would even be something pretty easy you could do. Just a quick clip on the end. That way that door can't really open or shut. And then you can put your ramp in this side. And then when you pick them out, you're only going to have one opening, though. Then when you pick them out, you can just unclip it. Open your back up, shake them out, which would be really actually pretty simple. That would be the easier of the two designs to go with. And uh, we're not gonna, I'm not going to do that, but that is something you, if you want to cut a lot of time off of it, not messing with this, not making all these little ties and stuff, that's something simple. But that way you still have an opening gate to shake everything out of. And you know what? Let's see here. I'm, I've got three of them clips, actually. It's a half-inch gap, though. That's the only problem is I can cut this piece down already. Which, let's see, if I, if I lay that back, the only problem with that is now is I cut that a little bit. You know what, hang, hang on one second. Let me just... All right, we're going to go with a new plan. I'm going to actually make one with the door that flips open in the back. That'll only leave one opening, but the issue with the other trap is, is that this door is a little flimsy, which it's just convenience. It's a convenience thing. It's a little bit easier to handle with. So what we're going to do is, because this one's already a half-inch gap, a little bit too small, which it really wouldn't matter to clip that half inch there, but you still want this back door to be operational and to be swing open. So what we're going to do is right here in the center and then right here on the edge, I'm going to tie two more small loops with my wire. I can keep it here every time I turn around it's somewhere else. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece here and there's a small bit of tab there left that's going to catch. So I'm going to snip that off too as well. You probably should wear glasses with this. Uh, I really only had like one piece so far snip off and fly up and almost hit me in the face. Luckily it didn't. I'm not wearing my glasses or safety glasses, which you should be doing when you do any kind of working like this. But this stuff usually doesn't tend to fly very far or fast, so I didn't worry with it. And we're just going to tie a little loop here. that down. I'm actually going to just bend this back a little bit so it doesn't catch me in the hand when I'm handling this trap at all. Because if it's there, it will. I know me. Probably one of the only people that manages to catch himself with everything. I was actually taking out a mink trap I had 
one two years ago and it was flooding and I thought I set the mink trap off with my boot reached down and when I reached down into the jaw of the mink trap the uh, trap itself went off on my hand we're gonna come across this way it wasn't completely set off like I thought it was set it off on my hand couldn't get my finger out of it there's a little number one dude and uh, I was stuck in about waist high water and a pair of chest waders bent over with my hand inside of a mink trap that was right at the edge. All right, here's my quick clip. So this is how I'm gonna design this one. I'm gonna make this one, just clip it through there. Something like that. I'm gonna work on that here real quick, try and figure this. All right, so here's what I decided to do. I'm gonna take a piece of wire right here and run it from this end about three squares in to this end about three squares in even. And I'm gonna loop this down through, measure it to about where I want it to hook on top, just like I did for the trap door, and I'm gonna tie it off here. And I'll show you a little bit better here in a second, as soon as I get this tied. Just like we used to do for the crab pots. Except we used bungee cords and that would hook better. All right. If I can get this clip over it, I don't know why I'm having trouble with these clips today. So what I did is I tied it there. Can't see. And tied it there. Bring it up to a clip. Which we are going to straighten this out. Pull it up. Might even end up making just some kind of hook there and just clip it like that, which will keep that gate shut. That way they won't walk out, they can't push out, they can't get out these corners here, anything like that. That's clamped shut. Then when I go to empty it, I just unclip it, drop it, shake them out. Take it back up, clip it back on. Like I said, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna make a hook then, because this quick clip doesn't want to hook in there right. But for now, that's how we're gonna do it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip back. Yep, there it came off. All right, you know what? I'm gonna make a hook, and then we'll be right back. All right. One good thing about this uh, hardware cloth is it's a little bit playable. So what I did is I just took it, bent a hook, made a hook. Just bring it up as far as you can hook it, clip it in. Which actually I'm gonna. Bend it up a little bit more so that it pulls it good and tight. Gives me a good good edge around this. Keeps them from trying to get out. I might modify that, but that's that's pretty good actually there. So that way that back's locked. They can't get out, they can't push out. The gaps aren't more than a half inch or a quarter inch around the edges. Top secured. Won't come loose. Because the way the hook is, it hooks back in there. So that's good. We're gonna move on. We're wasting too much time on that door. You can, I'm pretty sure anybody can figure that out. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, fix this one. Now, I don't like them to be too steep. So, we're gonna come across, like I said before, 11 squares, which if you actually, flip this here, which if you actually lay this piece on top of here, you can kind of guesstimate it, but I'm gonna show you here measurement so it's 100% simple. All right. This is the one we had the tabs on. We're not going to measure from the edge of the tab. We're going to come into the first piece of wire and we're going to measure 11 and a half from that first piece of wire. And of course, like I said, this one's bent. It's going to fight me the whole way. I'm just going to come in 11 and a half and mark it quick. I'm trying to lead it over my camera. Okay. So here's our 11 and a half inch. Well, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come out and we're gonna actually cut this so that these tabs are on this side, or on this. So that we're gonna cut right along this edge so we have tabs on this side and tabs on this side because this is gonna be secured and tight and we don't wanna come in loose. So I'm gonna go and cut that quick and then I'll show you the finished product as soon as I'm done cutting that. All right, here's our piece. We've got the flush top, tabs on this side, tabs on the bottom, tabs on this side. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and straighten this out. Now, we're going to install this about the same way we did the other one. If I could ever hang on to anything. You want to bring it in. Now because of the tabs, you're going to have a little bit of a problem hanging on to it here. It's going to catch on all the sides, of course. Now, this one, you want to actually bring back. It's just fighting me every step of the way. Here goes my phone. Thing won't go off all day long when I'm doing something. Okay. Yeah, it's just gonna. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take it out. We're gonna actually remove some of these tabs. 